friends, today I wanted to play with some makeup. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. And I actually did a video last night and played with this for the first time last night. But I hated how the video came out. Also, my eyes did not look cute whatsoever. And today, I have a topic that I wanted to talk about and explore. And I thought to myself, this palette is pretty cute. The color story is very bronzy, as the name indicates. These are the shadows here. But as you can see, they're pretty limited. And the only true matte in this palette is this color right here. The rest are shimmers. So there's a need, if you will, for me to try to maybe partner this with another palette. And I thought, what a great idea by using a dupe of the Mothership bronzing palette. That's the bigger version of this one. Now, this is from Bad Habit. Bad Habit disappeared and you know there is a new person in the makeup scene that kind of has some reminiscence of this which is um shop alter ego or my alter ego something of that nation of that notion i'll put their name somewhere here and i'll put their links down below and before they were that company i assume hypothesize it's too late in the day. But I think that they were in association with Bad Habit. And Bad Habit had this collection called the Cult Collection. This is the Cult Mystics palette. And this was a conceptual dupe for that bronzing palette. I'll go ahead and put up here what this palette looks like. And then up here, I will put a picture of what the actual Pat McGrath palette looks like. So story color-wise, they are the same thing. And the cool thing about this one is that it actually has a cool baked powder formula. And it is this quadrant here, which is also kind of like the infamous formula that um, Pat McGrath is known for in those big palettes and I wish truly that one of those shades was in this palette now I know that originally these go for like 60 ish dollars I got this on sale it was $35 which shipping was free in this purchase and so I mean the colors in here are pretty usable every day but it, I just, I feel like so much is missing from that palette and I feel very sad at the fact that they don't carry some of these amazing shades that are in here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the dupe for the original subliminal palette and then I'm going to use the smaller version of the original palette. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my Shop Miss A brushes and I'm gonna go into this guy. Now the bad thing about using this palette and these palettes in general is that these are no longer purchasable anywhere because they are from Bad Habit and Bad Habit like literally disappeared from the face of the beauty community and it left a hole in it but there's just really not much of a place that I can find that you can buy these I have seen them in like Depop or um Mercai or like those um shops that are shopping apps that you can go on you can maybe try to find these I will say that the mattes in here are nothing really that special. The shimmers are pretty cool, but it's these baked shades that honestly make these palettes stand out. And at the time, I think they were going for like around $15, and I actually got most of the collection 
in a sale when like the Hush app was being liquidated. And I got one, two, three, four, five of these palettes for like $40, which I think was a steal because these are so good. And if I had to restart my whole entire collection, I think that these would be one of the things that I would want to repurchase. And that's the horrible thing is that I just can't. But I am going to go ahead and start with this Vision color. And I'm going to put that in my crease. And I would like to talk a little bit about Tinder as I am currently exploring Tinder. So, yes, I am currently exploring and playing with Tinder. And it has been very interesting. I usually would go on Bumble, but I have been banned from Bumble for reasons. And I was pretty sad. And then I went on to Tinder and in the hype of everything, they decided to let folks be able to have the option of passport. And I have been swiping in Paris, London, Ireland, New York, LA, Sacramento, Florida, Atlanta. Most every day I pick a different city or state to like go and explore. I went to Oregon, I went to Washington DC, I went to a couple of different areas. And it has been pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. There was this one person who came at me with the question of let's play two truths and one lie and I thought that it was a pretty cool like icebreaker. So I've been using that as well and so far I had a winning streak until today actually. Today I guessed the wrong one and I was like damn because I had been consistent consistently winning all of these little games and today I today I lost and I was like damn I just broke my winning streak but so far so good I've been flirting consistently with a couple of different people and it's been really really fun I am enjoying my flirtation and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that I'm finding out um, in swiping. One, I found a lot of different pockets throughout the US and especially in France that um, a lot of people in their bios and a lot of couples will put non-monogamous and or will put ethically non-monogamous or ethically poly which I was like pretty interested in. And also like a lot of those um, people come from random pockets. First, Portland wasn't that surprised. I know that the scene over there is pretty open. New York, but by far the most like open with it all as far as like non-monogamy has definitely been France. And I don't even know a lot of French, but I found myself constantly Googling bios and a lot, and I do mean a lot of couples had unicorns in their bios. So that was pretty interesting. And I got to talking to a bunch of different people. That's been pretty interesting. I feel like there's also different areas currently right now where people aren't in quarantine or I don't know I've been talking to a couple of different people across the world and some of them are like going back to their daily like life rituals and my city is currently at 300 case 300 cases and we've decided well the city decided to extend the Stay home orders to May 17th. I just found that out. And here, like some parts of the world are already going back to, you know, regular everyday life. So I found that to be pretty interesting. 
Now to add depth to whatever I just did, I'm going to go ahead and go into this palette and I'm going to go in to this color. Now yesterday, as I said, I did use this palette and the matte in here is incredibly pigmented. So I'm going to go in one, two with the lightest touch and just build off of that because yesterday a little bit went a long way and i'm just going to try to add some dimension to the outer corner of my eye i'm going to go in one two to dip and yeah uh also i'm finding that there is something so interesting about the pictures that people post on their profiles i feel like there has been a weird moment in LA right now because <laughs> I was swiping through LA today actually and there is a lot of guys that have like group pictures but in those group pictures they like crop out people or like black out people which I find to be incredibly strange I'm like at that point bro like why don't you just like crop them out or like do you really not see how just like weird that is? I don't know, like that's not appealing in dating profiles. And I find myself personally wanting to put an accurate representation uh, in pictures of what I look like. And I usually try to put a lot of cool like fashion photos or like just like when I look hella cute and but I'm struggling with that and also wanting to put a picture of like me doing things like you know like there's like people like in roller coaster well, not roller coasters but you know what I'm saying? like in amusement parks or like surfing or something literally almost poked my nose there's just really cool pictures of people doing stuff in action and I just don't have that in my profile and I'm just like, in my day-to-day -day life, and when I do travel, like, when I'm traveling, I just, unless that's an easygoing day, I usually just, like, don't wear makeup. Like, one time we went to traveling to LA and we went to Santa Monica, I'm not gonna wear, ma like, I'm not gonna wear makeup to Santa Monica. It's hot, it's sweaty, it's humid. No. <laughs> and so my pictures... I'm going to go in to this color and I'm going to take a different clean brush and I'm going to take this like plummy brown. But the pictures that I take when I'm like out and about is just not cute. So I'm also like going through my camera roll and trying to find pictures of me when I'm traveling out and about and try to find cute profile pics, you know? And then right now, my bio is very flirty and fun because I don't anticipate finding, per se, like, a partner. And I don't know why. Maybe I will. Who the heck knows? But I don't really uh, have that expectation. It's just, like, kind of nice to, like, flirt as a pastime. And... It's been interesting because a lot of people on their profiles also have looking for quarantine bay, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. A lot of people also don't know how to start a conversation or keep a conversation. I feel like I'm trying my best to have a cool moment of like, what do you do and playing that two truths one lie game which has actually turned out to be really really fun and then in the first part of my eye i think i'm gonna go in with this goldish color is this is the best for this i think i'm gonna go back to this brush and i'm gonna use the opposite side yes i'm gonna put that in the center I feel like the two truths one lie game has been working out pretty well this far. I have gotten a lot of replies and it's been a really good conversation starter but whenever other people start conversations it's just like hey what's up we're in quarantine dude <laughs> you're gonna have to like ask better questions than like hey what's up you know but yeah I don't know 
I now have no choice but to use Tinder. And so I'm looking at the differences between the people on Tinder and the people on Bumble as well. And I really liked Bumble mostly because like I got to um, start the conversation and I mean don't get me wrong I have the choice to do that as well on Tinder right but I think that guys are just more into replying on Bumble I think right now I'm getting a lot of responses because we are in quarantine and so people have time to reply and I'm having a lot of really good I'm having five consistent conversations I think what I also really liked, I don't know what is happening, but the gold is not sticking to this eye. Oh, there is like a visible difference. The other thing too that I really liked about um, Bumble is that Bumble also had this friend feature and I really enjoyed going on there and like talking to like new folks in my city and like wanting to partner up to like meet up i got to learn so much of what others like to do in my city which i thought was really really cool i feel like you can very much get into the motion of like going to your top like favorite bars or like favorite things to do and when you meet other people like you get to see your city through their eyes and you get to see what they like to do and i was pretty surprised at some of the things that other people liked to do in my city and it was pretty cool. I don't know what's happening. The gold on this eye is just like not sticking. And I think it's my actual eye. I have this problem. There's a part of my eye where like makeup just does not like to stick. Just does not. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Absolution. Which is like this gold shade right here. And I'm going to pop that here. Was that a good decision? I don't know. But yeah, that was the other cool thing that I liked about Bumble is that whole uh, BFF feature because you got to meet all kinds of different people and got to, again, find out all cool stuff about your city. And Tinder doesn't really have that. And I think that right now, if I was to like go back and figure out what my favorite dating app is, it would be Bumble, just because it has that extra feature. Oh, this eye is a disaster. But I do like the Tinder worldwide feature right now. I'm like getting all of these brushes messy. What else is there to say right now about Tinder and Tinder dates? I'm having fun getting to know about like other people's cities and stuff too and how like other people's cities are dealing with the quarantine. I've had people talk about New York and what's going on in New York which has been pretty cool. Um, but also I feel like it's also been a lot of just being able to talk to someone about your situation. I literally brushed away a whole bunch of pigment from the side. I had a bunch of New Yorkers talk about um, how they're dealing with stuff. And yeah, like I said, it's been really interesting to see how other cities or other people are talking about their cities right now. But Tinder has been a very nice distraction. This eye is so good and this eye is just so bad. Also, uh, for notifications, I went to my phone settings and I went to notifications in my phone settings. And first of all, I had so many apps that were giving me push notifications just because everyone's at home, especially like Netflix was giving me a lot of... I'm gonna go... Okay. So I went into my cult palette and I did two different things. I put Essence, which is this purpley shade, which I think is trying to mimic maybe this plum shade. Oh, they're, they're very different. This is the fake one. This is the plum one from Pat McGrath. And then there's this beautiful shade. Trans transcend. Oh, 
this isn't like these are my favorite shades and it's just like this iridescent right here very glittery shade actually but it has a lot of blue i digress also if you don't have a makeup eraser these are so good i have like a couple but anyways you know what i'm watching parts and rec you know what i'm gonna say it i am not impressed with this palette I mean, these colors are beautiful. The formula is really, really nice. But these are all incredibly dark, sultry colors. And, like, I, I just, I'm not too sure if I like the color story that's in here. I feel like, whew, of all the colors that they could have chosen to put in the mini from the mothership, they could have come up with a better cohesive color story than the colors in here. Which again, it's not to say that the formula isn't good. I mean, they went on my eyes. This is heavily, heavily pigmented. Pigmented up the wazoo. And it's like a maroony brownish color. But I just, like, you could definitely take that for travel and you can definitely like get some nice looks for it but it's just like you have this one matte brown and then you have like this plummy shade this dark brown this gold and i know that pat mcgrath is also a fan of like using shimmers for your um crease which is fine because like same but i don't know i just personally i like my fake one better than the mini real one so i mean i don't know i'm gonna definitely keep it i think that i maybe just need to play with it some more but i just i have to say it like these are just like not that impressive to me or like the color story just it's not that great for me i don't know that is... but i went ahead and added the essence color to this eye and i added the transcendence color to this eye in the center so let me see if i can maybe also if you can see my mustache i'm growing out my mustache um for another video also I want to know what it's like to have a mustache. What better time than in quarantine? Yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> the colors are very pigmented, very beautiful, creamy formula. But I just... The color story just is not that impressive to me. And I think that I like my dupe full. palette and stuff. Let's do a quick summary of the people I'm talking to on Tinder. So I'm talking to this gentleman and I'm going to butcher this name, Karim. And we actually just matched and I've been playing, like I said, two truths, one lie. And his three statements were he had gotten hypothermia, he doesn't like raw oysters, and he got in an accident in a Camaro. And I said that the lie was that he doesn't like raw oysters, but he does. The lie was that he got pulled over in a Camaro, in his Camaro. And we've been just talking about the interesting story of how he got hypothermia, and he got hypothermia through a mountain hike. Uh, there's this other person, Dominique, and Dominique is probably the person that I'm most interested in. We've been talking for a couple of days now, and at first we were talking about comedians and Ali Wong, and we gave each other recommendations. So I recommended Dimitri Martin. I love Dimitri Martin. If you don't know who that is, comedic-wise, go to YouTube. I think he's so funny. <laughs> And he was so big in the early 2000s in Comedy Central, but I, I really enjoyed him. And we also talked about what we're going to school for, and um, 
we talked about gosh a couple of other things i have like messages unread and i don't want to write it right now because i know i'm not going to remember to reply later we've consistently been talking and they're so attractive i'm like down i don't know where they live i think when you use the passport it takes out your location or i don't know because none of the people that i'm matching with that i am um matching with like that i'll match in later it just says how many miles apart we are and it doesn't say precisely or like city wise or new state where they are so and i don't really find myself asking where they're from i think maybe just because i know deeply down inside i'm momentarily invested in all of this just because of the quarantine but who knows but Dominique and I have been talking consistently and it's been really really cool I feel like we jam I feel like we mesh very well so very excited to continue talking to them and I was also talking to Philip his statements were I've stood somewhere that no one ever can stand again he speaks Spanish and he's taken a liking to mushrooms and the mushrooms statement was a lie and we barely started talking and then we both just kind of stopped replying but I don't know there was this one guy let me see where he is if I'm even still matched with him oh maybe not anymore but we matched and we were like talking and he engaged in conversation first which i thought was like oh cool but then like he was so dry and i tried <laughs> like i don't know he started the conversation and then we were playing the game and like i was trying to dive into his lie because his lie was pretty interesting and his other truths were pretty interesting and so like i was trying to get him to like talk about things but his answers were so short and like in comparison like i was trying to give like moments or like topics and just like trying to throw a lifeline into the conversation and his, he would just like be like haha yes cool so short and it's like if you're gonna start a conversation and I'm trying to like initiate a good conversation and you're not giving me any lifeline like bro like we're wasting each other's time here there's this other ginger person uh, we've been getting along pretty well they were in they were drowned four times or they experienced drowning four times and we're in 16 car wrecks and I was like how does that happen and he was just like, I'm just that unlucky, I guess. And I was like, can you imagine 16 car wrecks? Like, that is so traumatizing. Uh, there was this one guy, his name is Robert. And one of my, my lie is that I bought a car with my fans only account, which I don't have. And he, t he was like very i don't know we were like back and forth and he was like i didn't see you in the oscar so i'm gonna say the acting oh well let me tell you my two truths and lie okay so mine are i can walk to another country which is true because in the border town that i live in i can walk to juarez which is another country then i have won several acting awards i i feel like as i was trying to figure out these statements i was like i'm really not that like exciting or i don't think like i've done like these really cool statements that like throw people off but i mean i technically did win some acting awards but in high school but i still think it's pretty funny and then the third statement is a bought a car with my fans only account which is the lie and so after i told him that the third was a lie he regurgitated my statements and said a very vulgar statement that he can walk to another country and then that he paid for his vacation with his um work in the pleasure arena which like i have nothing against like pleasure work 
I'm just trying not to get demonetized, even though my channel's not demonetized or monetized, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I was just like, why do you have to be so, I don't know. I was like, why are you being rude? <laughs> Where did this come from? And I'm talking to a lot of like girls. For the first couple of days in April, well, I've consistently every day have been swiping just because I'm bored, I have the time, and I want to use up that feature of um, swiping internationally and wherever for as much as I can. So I've been swiping like every day. And where was I getting? Oh, I've been swiping for with females only or female identifying people on Tinder. For I think it was like 10 days and I barely added guys for the last two days and I mean it's been pretty interesting. There's this guy from Ireland, his name is Andy and we had a really saucy conversation but then like today we didn't really message each other and I was like wah because it was a pretty entertaining conversation. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like being back on Tinder was at first really exciting because I was talking to a lot of people, but I think that as the conversation continues on, some people have just like stopped, but I still have those five consistent conversations that I'm having that are pretty really cool, but ugh. I don't know if it's just me. I just want to like talk to more people. I'm just really, you know, wanting human contact. And talking to those five people consistently, flirting with those five people consistently has been really, really fun. But I'm just like, damn. I'm gonna miss this feature <laughs> when April 30th comes around and it's gonna get taken away. But yeah. I don't know if there's any updates or like if we decide to move our conversation to anything I'll do an update uh, but yeah I think the most person that I'm really excited for is Dominic because we have just been consistently talking and we both just like vibe together and they're so attractive and I'm just like wow let's meet up let's have a cyber date imagine oh my god if there's a cyber if i can schedule if i get a cyber date i will definitely do a follow-up yes okay that is it i really don't know what this video was about or if it did anything um uh this was cool a nice purchase i feel very luxe very cute uh, sad to say that I'm just a little bit disappointed with the colors in here. Maybe it just takes a little bit more playing with it, but I really like my dupe version more. That's it. That's all I've got. I don't know. Maybe this video isn't that exciting as I thought it was going to be. I should have maybe written some talking points. I've just been on Tinder a lot and I was just like wanting to talk about it. Yeah. Also, I find myself that... <laughs> Tinder, like, uh, I don't have the unlimited swipe feature, so, like, you know, I get capped at I don't know how many swipes. But one of the cool things that I can do is uh, a lot of people have their ads right now, so I've been following a lot of people's Instagrams, so that's pretty cool. I'm sorry. I literally just wanted to play with makeup, and I didn't know whether I should talk about something or not, and I feel like this was not that great. But anyways, here is the final look for today. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to wake up early and actually do a makeup tutorial or like, I don't know, something other than this. I don't know. Is this good? Is this not good? I can't tell anymore. What I can say is Tinder is a good time right now. Bumble, please, un <laughs> Bumble, please unblock me. Or Tinder just get the option of also making friends. I don't know. Either or. <laughs>